And just like that, it is time for more matcha. We are back here. We have made it halfway through, so now we're on the second half of round one of our elimination contest, Matcha Madness. Today we have a couple vendors that have popped up a few times already. We have another one from Rishi Tea. This is Matcha Kirishima Blend, and then Blend 95 from Breakaway Matcha. So now that we know what we're going to be tasting, let's uh, brew them up and do just that. See you in a minute. Okay, we are back. Just looking at them, they're both a bit more on the darker emerald side of the spectrum. They both seem to have really good crema built up. Uh, kind of inconsistency in the bubbles, some really large bubbles and some really small bubbles, but equal on both, I would say. Let's take a sniff. Very clean, very spring water. I'm trying to find any vegetal notes on the aroma, and there's just not much there. It's just very clean and pure. Try the Blend 95. Okay, this one I get a little bit of zucchini. Fresh zucchini, not cooked. Just the slightest hint of sweet young peas. All right, let's go in for the taste now. A rather pronounced bitterness right up front. That seems to kind of stay bitter for quite a while. It's lingering. There's a, a little bit of conversion into sweetness, but there's still an undertone of bitterness lasting throughout the aftertaste. Cooked greens, spinach, zucchini. Not bad, but a bit more bitterness than I typically look for. Let's try the Blend 95. Young spinach. There's not much bitterness here in this glass. There's a little bit, but more just kind of greenness that, you know, chlorophyll greenness, I guess. Yeah, not bad, but no, not super special either, in my opinion. Definitely, definitely wins out over the uh, Kirishima blend. On its own right, it is nice. Clear winner of this battle. It's growing on me the more I let it, it sit with me. This one, the Kirishima blend had kind of a lingering bitterness. This one had a bit of bitterness, but it's all converted into sweetness at this point. There's no lingering bitterness from this one, and it was just a hint of it to start with. Okay, so that means that the Kirishima blend is out of the picture. With the Kirishima blend out of the way, that now means our bracket looks a little something like this. What can I tell you about the Hiroshima blend? This is another matcha, of course, from Rishi Tea, as you can see from the container. My favorite container that Rishi offers. This is the 30 gram size, coming in at $30 for a very easy $1 per gram price conversion there. Don't know the season. Now this is interesting. This is a blend, but we do know which cultivars went into the blend. It's a Semidori, Okumidori, Yabukita, and Okuyutaka. If we haven't had them all yet, I'm pretty sure all of those single Cultivar options are available from Rishi Tea. I, th I don't think we've had the Semidori yet. They're all starting to kind of blend in my head a little bit. This is, comes from Kagoshima. This is interesting. So this is uh, reading now from the description off of Rishi Tea's website. Kirishima Blend is a single origin matcha that highlights the regional character of the Kirishima Mountain in southern Japan. Made exclusively from organic first flush Tencha, Kirishima Blend is a collaboration project between Rishi buyers the Nishi family, tea farm, and our tension milling partners in Shizuoka. Every year we taste a range of individual cultivar production lots of tencha in leaf form and test milled into matcha. We taste to understand the unique performance of each cultivar, which varies from season to season. We then assemble and taste trials of cultivar blends to create the perfect chowa, or harmony and balance, of amaku, umami, koku, density, awaku, briskness, and Shibuku, bitterness. The cultivar components of Kirishima blend shift from season to season according to our collaborative effects to create the most balanced and vivid expression of the Southern Japanese appellation of origin. Kirishima blend is designed to highlight the character of the Kirishima mountain region with a perfect balance of savory umami, fresh bitter sweetness with a smooth and creamy mouthfeel. So I feel like the story on this one is very interesting and I like it for that reason alone, but in the taste test, Going up against Blend 95 from Breakaway, unfortunately it did not make it into round two. But it is still a very interesting 
matcha. Not one that I would come back to a lot as a nice change of pace every once in a while. I, I like the idea behind it so much that I think I would have it every once in a while just to remind myself of all the different processes and thoughts that went into making this particular blend. Not making it into round two, but we will see blend 95 again in round two, and I will see you tomorrow for another round one knockout.